Cheers, friends. Once again, we are with our Sky in Skyrim for the song of Sky Vampire Hunter. We are here with Sophia and Serana. This is the entrance to Dark Fall Cave. Now, a few notes before we begin. Between episodes, I went home to Bree's home, took a bunch of stuff out of my selling barrel, and went to the College of Winterhold to buy as many soul gems as I could possibly get. And, well, we got a lot of soul gems, you can see here, right? So we're going to be able to pretty much keep our weapons filled and powerful and fill up as many soul gems as we possibly can in this place. Also, while we were there, there was a dragon. Imagine that, a dragon. And in that battle with that dragon, while conjuring the Dramora Lord, we got our conjuration to 100. And now we have the Twin Souls perk, which means I can have two Atronox or zombies, and it's going to mean two Dramora Lords. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. And we moved up pretty much higher to level 55. We did some enchanting. We did some alchemy as well. So that's what we did between episodes. That makes her a much more powerful person. So without further delay, let's get to it, shall we? Let's get ourselves ready to go. I think this place is very dark. It's called Dark Fall Cave because you can fall in the darkness of the cave. <laughs> so what I may do is cast some candlelight here. Yeah, it's very, very dark. And I don't often use this spell, but I think I have it. Yeah, let's uh, get some light on the subject here. And as usual, let's get Ebony Flesh and our double Dramora Lords ready to go. And we will collect some things along the way. We do need to watch out for traps in here. Um, so we're going to do that. Here it is. Now I believe there are spiders in here. There's lots of spiders. So. Creeping along. Probably ought to sneak a little, don't you think? Yeah, let's sneak. dark. Sophia's trying to push me off the edge. Oh, yeah, I see a spider. Kill it, kill it. <laughs> like that spider has stood a chance. <laughs> now, you can go this way, which is where you need to, to go, I think. Yeah, we don't really need anything from that frostbite spider. Yeah, there's really nowhere to go in this direction. It's the rickety bridge land here. This is where we have to go. And it, oh, excuse me, folks, when I sniffle. It's a time of year, and my nose just... Ah, oh, man. You know? All right, now we can cross the first time without issue. But it's going back. It's going to be a problem. Something's not right here. Be careful. I don't have a pickaxe. I think we may be in for some trouble. Yeah, I think there's going to be trouble here. There is a pickaxe right here. Let's grab it. Because we can make... I think this is all moonstone. Yeah. We can make some elven arrows. Which may become very important in the future. So we're going to get as much moonstone ore as we can throughout this adventure. 
Right. And Sarana's trying to get some moonstone for us. Ah, oh, you're so nice. Of Thank you, Sarana. Right. Flawless emerald as well. Good. Yeah, very nice. So, the problem is now going to be... Hello, buddy. How you doing there? <laughs> All right. So, this is going to fall apart when we get on it. And the spiders are going to come out of everywhere and try to get us. So, in that case, we do want to basically get this together. Uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. I can't move because everybody's blocking my way. So I jump. Ah! 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 Oh no! It's a log flume ride. <laughs> ah, spiders! <laughs> I see you, kids. Done and done. Yeah, we just increased our archery, didn't we? Yeah. Who's there? I knew I heard something. Ah, spider! Dead spider. And it's weird, it's like this weird glitch where we're still underwater. Yeah. No Get the other one. Watch out, Serana. <laughs> Am I stuck? Yeah, I'm stuck. This is weird. I feel like I'm still underwater, but I'm not. Okay. I smell weakness yeah. as well. Yeah. We'll pay for that. No. no match at all. This is a weird place. I smell. I feel like I'm still underwater. a known glitch, folks. I'm going to pick some of these. Is that good? And we are still the alchemist. Not sure which way to go. I think it's this way. Watch out for traps as best I can. Hopefully we'll, we'll stop being in the water. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's um let's get candlelight back again. I can still hear all the water. <laughs> there. What's this? What's this? These people were. Why would anyone want to set up camp here? I wonder what uh, Brett, happened. what are you doing? <clears throat> Sister, I know that you will come find me, but it will be too late. If you find this letter, get out of this forsaken cave as soon as possible. We were fools to think we could live so close to such creatures and live peacefully. I should have headed back to camp with you after we placed the torches down here. I thought these trolls would be different. Did they would somehow understand that we didn't want to hurt them. I am now cornered, and it's only a matter of time before one of the trolls decides to finish me off. I hope it is a quick death. Farewell, my dear sister. Oh, jeez, they were down here, and they thought the trolls were going to be happy trolls? I don't know about that. That's kind of dumb. But what do they have? Some glowing mushrooms? I'll take those. Cure disease? Sure. Spider eggs? Of course. Well, they were killing the trolls for the troll fat. 
what they think the trolls were gonna do. All right. Coins? Sure. Spider eggs? Yeah, we'll take those. What's in the pouch? Now you can wander around. Well, that's pretty good. Take that. Yeah, and that one. But I think back here. Yeah, see? It opens up. This little hole, I th or, or passageway somewhere. Where is it? I think it's right back here. If these guys would get out of my way, we could. I could show it to you. But uh, yeah, I need to get something out also. All right. Stop goofing off. What are you doing, bonsai? I think you have to somehow smack this. Maybe. I don't even think I have anything to smack it with. Well, yeah, I do. I have a pickaxe. Not sure if this works. Huh. Okay. I know it opens a secret passage, but where that passage is, I'm not 100% sure. And maybe you cannot access it from this direction. So, let's, uh, let's get ourselves ready to go with our normal set of circumstance. Cause this does kind of tend to wind around a lot and go nowhere. Yeah, like it just did. Can you hear the water still? It still sounds like we're underwater. It's 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 horrible. Yeah. Okay, so, flaming. Flames! And now we'll get back to what we normally carry. All right, right, right. There's a dead spider here. Hmm. I keep trying to do the wrong. <laughs> Come on, Fabba Fangas! That's back to the crashed bridge. Okay, so we've come around in a circle. This is what I feared would happen. We're gonna get lost down here and it's easy to do. Oh, here we go. I think this is the darkness. This takes us back to the camp, I think. Yeah. So we'll go down here. There is a trap right there. So let's uh, let's get out our bow. I'll get out uh, dead Spain. Just because being pushed from behind. Thank you. I know it's Sophia. Ah! That was close. <laughs> well, that's scary. All right, back to normal again. Yeah, hurt yourself on these rocks, guys. guys let's go oh what is this a fork in the road I think it goes around to the same way yeah apparently there's trolls down here we need to be careful
We'll grab some of these along the way. Ah, large chamber. I don't like the look of this. Yeah, it's not good, is it? Trolls. I see trolls. What kind of trolls are they, Bonsai? Well, they're not, they're not internet trolls. They're, they're just trolls. Well, leave them alone. Because <clears throat> we really don't care about the trolls. We more care about what's going on here. What's this guy? Who's this dude? Come forward. Yeah. You have nothing to fear here. Uh, who are you? Wow. I am Knight Paladin Gelibor. Okay. Welcome to the Great Chantry of Oriel. Oh, this cave is a temple to Oriel? Oriel, Oriel, Alkosh, Akatosh. So many different names for the Sovereign of the Snow Elves. Snow Elves? I prefer Snow Elf. The name Falma usually holds a negative meaning to most travelers. True. Those twisted creatures you call Falma, I call the Betrayed. Oh, the Betrayed. I imagine you know where I'm Of course. Here. You're here for Oriel's bow. Why else would you be here? Of course. I can help you get it. But first, I must have your assistance. What's that? What do you need? What type of assistance? I need you to kill Archcurate Vertha. What? My brother. Your brother? Why? The kinship between us is gone. I don't understand what he's become, but he's no longer the brother I once knew. I see. It was the betrayed. They did something to him. I just don't know why Oriel would allow this to happen. What exactly did the betrayed do? They swept into the Chantry without warning and began killing everyone without pause. Didn't you fight back? The Chantry was a place of peaceful worship. I led a small group of paladins, but we were no match for the Betrayed's sheer numbers. They slaughtered everyone and stormed the inner sanctum where I believe they corrupted Vertha. Oh. You don't even know if he's alive? He's alive. I've seen him, oh. but something's wrong. He never looks as though he's in pain or under duress. He just stands there and watches. As though waiting. What's he waiting for? Leaving the Way Shrines unguarded would be violating my sacred duty as a Knight Paladin of Oriel. Okay. And an assault on the Betrayed guarding the Inner Sanctum would only end with my death. Yeah, it's just one of you against them. There's a Way Shrine, huh? Yes. Let me show you. Okay. Show me. Pretty. So this is snow elf magic. Incredible. Wow. Cool, man. Look at this all the hanging structure marks. is known as a way shrine. Okay. They were used for meditation and for transport when the Chantry was a place of enlightenment. Prelates of these shrines were charged with teaching the mantras of Oriel to our initiates. What's that basin in the center signify? Once the initiate completed his mantras, he'd dip a ceremonial ewer in the basin at the way shrine center and proceed to the next way shrine. So these initiates had to lug around a heavy pitcher of water. Marvelous. How long would they have to do that? Well, once the initiate's enlightenment was complete, he'd bring the ewer to the Chantry's inner sanctum. I see. Pouring the contents of the ewer into the sacred basin of the sanctum would allow him to enter for an audience with the arch curate himself. Cool. All that just to end up dumping it out? It makes no sense to me. Come on. It's symbolic. Yeah. Come I don't on. expect you to understand. Right, you so, stupid vampire. Let's get this straight. We need to do all that nonsense to get into the temple so we can kill your brother and claim Ariel's bow. Right. I know how it all sounds. But if there was another way, I'd have done it long ago. Okay. The only way to get to my brother is by following in the initiate's footsteps and traveling from Way Shrine to Way Shrine, just as they did. Okay. The first lay at the end of Darkfall Passage, a cavern that represents the absence of enlightenment. Well, we've, we've been there. How many are there? There are five in total, spread far apart across the Chantry. These caves must be massive. Caves? Oh no. The Chantry encompasses far more than a few caves, as you'll soon discover. Really? But before I send you on your way, you'll need the Initiate's Ewer. Oh, cool. Give me a Ewer. Thank you. So I need to fill this Once in Once you've one? located a way shrine, 
There'll be a spectral prelate tending to it. Okay. They will allow you to draw the waters from the shrine's basin, as if you've been enlightened. Well, I... as if I've been enlightened? I am enlightened, but I'll be off then. This may be the last time we're able to converse. If you have any questions before you leave, I suggest you ask them. Otherwise, all I can do now is grant you my hopes for a safe journey. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I really don't have any questions for you, except questions. it's strange. I expected as much. <clears throat> yeah. Um... Who were your people, We were by once the way? a wealthy and prosperous society that occupied a portion of Skyrim. Unfortunately, we were constantly at war with the Nords, who claimed the land as their ancestral home. It appears the Nords won. In a manner of speaking. <laughs> yeah. We had always maintained an uneasy alliance with the underground dwelling dwarves. And when faced with extinction, we turned to them for help. Surprisingly, they agreed to protect us, but demanded a terrible price. The blinding of our race. Yeah, I've seen it. Everyone could have possibly agreed to that, right? There were splinter groups that resisted the agreement, and even some that sought alternate alliances. But when it was all said and done, those elves were either slaughtered, vanished, or gave up and took the dwarves' bargain. I see. So, what turned your people into the betrayal? I've often asked myself that very same question. The blinding of my race was supposedly accomplished with a toxin. Certainly not enough to devolve them into the sad and twisted beings they've become. Yeah, they are pretty sad and twisted. Well... Well, okay. Well, why were the Chantry the is affected? quite isolated, so it took some time for word of the Dwarf Zoffa to reach us here. I see. By the time the compact had been completed, it was too late for us to even attempt to intervene. So, is that why you had retained your sight? Correct. We only numbered perhaps a hundred at the time, so our presence remained a secret to the Dwarves and the Nords. I see. Ironically, our undoing came at the hands of our own people. You mean the Betray? Yes. They swarmed the Chantry in vast numbers until we were completely overrun. We never really stood a chance. I assumed that the Arch Curate was corrupted by them when they found a way to breach the Inner Sanctum. I see. Ah, there are others here like you? Vertha and myself are the only two Snow Elves that remain. Two? Well, I guess there's no Girl Elves, so that's probably the end of that, isn't it? May Auriel keep you free from harm. And may a song speed you along. <laughs> now, we can search in this little area, but really, I have to put you in uh, here. What am I doing? Hmm, I don't know. Let's see. Touch the sky. Survive Darkfall Passage, which we did. We spoke to Gelibor, and we did that. Okay. So, what's next? Questions. Uh, I expected as much. Well, yeah, like, how come I can't go any further? This is, or was, the epicenter of our religion. Most of the Snow Elf people worshipped Oriel. The Chantry was constructed near the beginning of the First Era to provide a retreat for those that wished to become enlightened. Snow elves, Our yeah. empire had temples to some of the other deities. Trinimac, Cerebane, Yefre, and Finister rounded out the rest. Who? Never but heard those of temples paled in comparison to the glory of the Chantry and its way shrines. Okay, the way shrines are part of the Chantry? Oh, yes. They were an important part of the process here. They represented the steps the initiates took on the path to total enlightenment. Sadly, the magic used to construct these wonders were lost long before I arrived here. Okay, who are the Spectral Prelates? They're ghosts of the Snow Elf Priests that tended the Way Shrines before being slaughtered by the Betrayed. Through the grace of Auriel, they were restored to their Spectral form to enable them to continue their duties. Okay. Serana, are you, like, trying to, like, upstage the guy? I'm afraid in their current form, they still believe the Chantry to be an active center of worship. I see, so... They won't yeah. respond to you in any way other than believing that you're an initiate and you're undertaking the journey to the Inner Sanctum. So no help at all, huh? Okay. May Oriel light your path. And may a song speed you along. 
Right, so, uh, let's look around here a little bit. Uh, can't grab those. No. They're not real hanging mosses. They're just set decoration hanging mosses. Alrighty then, folks. For some reason, um... Ouch. I just hit something. I don't know what it was, but I, I just hit something. Alright, so, activate the Shrine of Oriel. Oh, yeah, cool. Okay. So, it says that we need to survive Darkfall Passage, which we've done. Uh, speak to Galabor, which we've done. So, where do we go from here? I Do I... Questions. <clears throat> do I, I leave now? Do I go? Ah, uh, open. Ah, oh, there's the portal. Okay. Good, good, good. That was a little bit um, unclear. Now, into the dark fall passage, into the loss of enlightenment, and it's very dark here. So we're gonna we're gonna that sneak a little bit. Wasn't as unpleasant as I thought it would be. Kind of soothing, actually. I feel a little warmer now. Oh. All right. Let's uh, let's get ready here. Oh, look at them. They're cool. Now we do need to be aware of traps in this area, and we need to be aware of Falmer and oh that thing. Yeah, just push me. Yeah, go ahead, push me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got a really bad feeling about that. That is not cool. Where'd you come from? Stand in front of me. That's good. No, no match at all. <laughs> Why are you not wearing? I give you nice clothing, Saran or Sophia, and you don't wear it. Oh, you got a an arrow. I hurt you, didn't I? Man. Fledgling. Now those things are scary, and we need to be aware of these little weird things, because chores become chores. Those flying off awful hunter things, and are scary. I really don't want those ice. No, we've got 83 bolts of fire. Let's use those instead, huh? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have a weird feeling there's going to be farmer around here. There's a farmer house. Lucky he just jumped in the water. I knew I heard something. I smell weakness as well. Get the weakness. Get the weakness. <laughs> You. Well, he's dead now. Nasty Falmo. Okay, so. I apologize to you folks that it's dark in here, but it is dark in here. Oh, I smell weakness as well. That's two of them. Stuck on uh, terrain here, folks. <laughs> I got a group of folks out here just attacking them. That's it, yeah. That'll teach you. Yeah. They just noticed we use twin souls. So, yeah, we've got, like, all of the Dramora Lords. It is. Where? Get him. <laughs> Someone's blocking the way. Come on, you stupid Falma. <laughs> what do you got in there? Skeever tail. Huh. I want that. And a staff of firebolts. Yeah. Ooh. Chorus. Just 
skeleton here. I smell weakness. I do too. Let's grab some of those. Where do we go here, folks? The challenger is near. Yeah, go get the challenger. All right, I'm gonna have to throw you in there, aren't I? Uh, yes, there's a challenger. Kill a crossbow. There's a, there's a trap right there. there be no other end. Come on, set the trap off. Good. <laughs> we'll take these glowing mushrooms. Ah, boy, that's a junk. Harvest blood. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. We have that mission for Septimus. Oh dear. There wasn't anything in that one. Good. Good, good, good. What do we have here? Oh. Take that. All right, through the dark passage. Oh, boy. I like the splatter of goo everywhere. Yeah, that's the best way to take care of those things. Don't let them hatch on you. Uh oh, I see. I smell weakness. <laughs> Kill a crossbow. Ouch. He hit me. That skulker doesn't stand a chance. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fomer ears and spider eggs. All right. No more weakness. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, clean blossoms. Yeah, they are a very rare thing to have. Staff of Flame Atronach. I'll take it. Yeah, I know. Weakness. Hmm. Is there any loot here? Oh, yes, there is. Gold. Boy, they don't have a lot of stuff, do they? Just got junk. Poor Falma. Yeah, Glean Blossom. Very rare and calculated ingredient. There's another Falma around here. First of all, let's check our weapon. I think it needs a little bit of uh, juice. It needs juice! <laughs> we can use graders. I got piles of them. 
Don't forget you bought piles of them. Yeah, and so, now, those Dramora Lords are over there having a little bit of a fun picnic. I want them over here. <laughs> I hope to gosh, Rillickers. <laughs> yeah. Alright, here we go. Let's buy that. Let's get some of these. Get him! There's a trap here. Don't touch that. You can get some green blossoms, though. Alrighty then, guys. Let's go up here. Let's see this. <clears throat> These Falma have junk and stuff and trash. Here's where we need to go. Look at their uh, giant thing there. Oh, we're gonna make a giant chorus and we're gonna be like chairs. We're gonna put stuff in here too. Yuck. We really don't want to engage in too much battle here, right? If we can sneak past them, we want to sneak past them. The poor little humble villages. That's right, there can be no other end. What's more green blossom? You wanna bet they're gonna jump out of here? Right on my head. Nope. Good. Good, good, good. Let's keep going. Into the dark, dark darkness. I hope I think there's enough light for you folks at home to see what's going on here. But I think maybe we can do this now. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. And we'll get our regular setup ready to go. There we are. Let's sneak up here. Watching for traps. Oh, I smell weakness. Weakness. Oh, that warmonger's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. No, oh, let's actually use um, dangerous sword. Capture his soul. Let's see what he's got on him. Palmer ears, gold. You know, these would be kind of fun. Yeah. The helmet and the boots and a, uh, eh, maybe not a shield, right? Uh, nah. All right. Let's go pile here. Bow and meal. Get it. Right? <clears throat> oh, I hear ya. Oh, looks like somebody else was down here. Staff of zombies.
There we go. There can be no other. We'll check them. Uh, if one of them has like anything other than helmets, right? Let's see if he's got anything other than helmets. Hardened helm and shields. You know what? Let's take a full shield. Okay, let's get our boys ready to go again. Where are they? Okay, kill a crossbow time. Well, actually, I think we're probably going to do this. And, uh, yeah. I have a bad feeling about what I'm seeing in there. Let's get, uh, Daedra's soul ready to go. Shoot that. Yeah, that works. Who's there? Ah! 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 Not, I can't get my Dramora Lord, so I'm like, ah! Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> There's two of them in there now. Well, one of them in there now. <laughs> that was close. Yeah, we're going to take the chitin because that... Water breathing, gold, greater soul gem, sure, silver ore, yeah. What do they got here? Eh, ultimate healing, we'll take. Okay. Just a chamber all to itself, huh? We heard this one, do we? Boy, that chest was trapped, wasn't it? All right, let's get ourselves ready to go here. With our normal set. <clears throat> Oops, wait a minute. <laughs> Another trap. Okay. Let's hit it with some... Uh, we'll hit that... With some destruction flames. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Bone chimes. Lots of bone chimes. It's a dead skelly here. Yeah. <laughs> the Dramora Lords are having trouble getting through all that stuff. <laughs> Ah, the rocks, the stones. We'll go up this high road. Okay, you run ahead of me there, Dramora Lord, buddy. Oh, I see. So we need to be a little careful here. Be careful here. Whatever's on the other side of this, I only wanted to keep it there. All right. Where'd you come from? All right. <clears throat> now we do have paralysis. Right. Just in case it comes. Up. <laughs> well, I want that. So there was a kitty cat, huh? Ready to go. Watch out for those poison flowers. There's probably more of those. 
Nasty kitty cats in here. Wow, look at this place. Crazy. I want some more green blossom, too. May as well get it while you can. Now, those there are also pretty good poisons, but there's so few of them that, you know, you only want to use it. Deer. They're cool looking. Veil deer, huh? Wow, they live in the dark. And they glow. Glow deer. Oh, they're so cute and cuddly. Why would you want to hurt them? Looks like something hurt this one. Oh, it was that cat. Yeah. I heard that poison flower open up when you get near it, so yeah, don't get near it. Um, this is kitty. <laughs> well, the kitty's gonna die. <laughs> the skeleton too. <laughs> oh, look at—he looks like he's still alive. He's like trying to run away, but. There's some dead deer back here. Because the hide is so rare, I'm going to take it. Right. Sure. All right, let's get back to... Uh, I do like that paralysis. That is something I'm going to keep on using here. <laughs> Not with both hands, though. The other hand, um, probably with ebony flesh. How about that? Looks like we found the first way shrine. Here we go. Hello. Welcome, initiate. This is the way shrine of illumination. Is it? Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel? and fill your vessel with his enlightenment? Yes, we are. Then behold Ariel's gift, my child. Oh. May it light your path as you seek tranquility within the inner sanctum. Oh, right. May it light my path. Watch this little sparkle. Do it. Bing! Oh, it's so cool. I like it. Ah. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have survived Darkfall Passage with all the nasty Felmer, the Chorus Hunter Fledglings, the Chorus, and the nasty Vale Saber Cats. And now we go into the Chantry at the second Way Shrine. But that will be it for the next video. This one's been a little bit longer than most of mine, so I thank you for hanging in there as we traverse the Dark Passage. Stay tuned for the next episode of the tale, The Song of Sky, where we will be entering the Forgotten Vale. So like and subscribe to the channel. I want to thank you all for being here. I've been the Boneside Butterfly. You are all so super cool, man. I dig it. <laughs> Cheers, my friends. <laughs>